A garden around your base is what takes it from a flat, boring Minecraft world to something alive and beautiful. But creating something that isn't just a mess of leaf blocks and random plants can be tricky. Here are 36 amazing designs to turn your garden into a natural paradise. You can't have a garden without greenery. Potted plants liven up any patio or awning. Start by placing down a lightning rod, oriented upside down like so. Place a flower pot on top of it with the plant of your choosing. For our next design, we start with a bit of scaffolding with the flower pot on top. Put a birch sapling in the flower pot and an azalea leaf block above that. Start with a decorated pot. Place a flower pot on top of that with the flowering azalea bush in it. Then put down some regular azalea leaves and flowering azalea leaves on top. Next up, place a lectern with a decorated pot above it. Surround each side of the pot with four mangrove signs. Put a flower pot on top of this with a dead bush in it. Then stack two mangrove leaves on top of that. For a fancier design, we're going to start with a lectern again, this time with some podzel on top. Surround each of the sides with four bamboo trapdoors. Place a large fern on the podzel. Start with a granite wall. Put down a flower pot with a dead bush in it. Place two birch leaves on top. For a similar design, use a red sandstone wall and a flower pot with some bamboo in it. Then take two temporary blocks. Place them on top of the bamboo with a jungle trap door on top of that. Delete your temporary blocks and put down two glow berries. Now we're going to place a piece of puzzle surrounded by four spruce trap doors. Put an azalea bush on that with some azalea leaves on top. To create a hedgerow fence, place azalea bushes in a line next to each other with azalea leaves on top. For another, fancier version of this plant, start with podzel. Surround it with four spruce trap doors. Put down an azalea bush with a moss block. Cover all sides of the moss with four pieces of glow lichen. Then put a fern on top. Now we're going to create a couple of dead looking plants, which might be useful in some type of haunted castle or ruins. First, place a decorated pot with a flower pot on top. Put a dead bush there, and put some mangrove roots above it. To create a slightly more complex version of this wilting plant, we'll start the same way with a decorated pot, flower pot, dead bush, and mangrove roots. To add what may look like some wilted leaves or mold, place glow lichen on all sides of the roots. To finish, put a dead brain coral fan at the very top. Now we're going to make two hanging flower pot designs. Place down a mud brick wall. Stack four spruce fences on top of it. Come out with a spruce fence gate. Place down three spruce trap doors like so, with two chains hanging underneath. Now place a temporary block under that chain. Then place an upside down mossy cobblestone stair, delete your temporary block. Take five jungle trap doors and place them on all sides of the stair with the final trap door placed at the bottom. Waterlog the stair and place some fire coral on top. For another version of this design, create the same support structure. This time use five cherry trap doors waterlog the stair, and place a piece of brain coral on it. For our last design, place down a block of puzzle with an upside down bamboo stair coming off the front. Put down a lectern behind it. Place another block of puzzle on top with an upside down bamboo stair coming off the back of that. Put a final puzzle on that stair. Then take seven bamboo trap doors and surround all sides of the puzzle. Place down two large ferns, and in between them, place a peony. Now we're going to move on to our garden beds. Start by taking eight spruce trap doors and place them around a two by two area. Now take two moss blocks and place them in these corners. Place two mossy cobblestone slabs in the remaining corners. Waterlog the slabs and place a piece of horn coral on top of each. Then put a lilac up front and a rose bush in the back. For our next design, place down three pieces of podzel. Surround all sides in eight dark oak trap doors. Put a large fern in the middle with a sweetberry bush on either side, bone meal to full maturity. We have a similar but larger design up next. Place down four pieces of podzel with four upside down dark oak stairs coming off of two of the sides. Next, get six dark oak trap doors. Place four of them covering the remaining sides and two in this corner. 
put a large fern in the back with a sweetberry bush on either side, bone mealed. Put a brown mushroom in the remaining space. Now take two flower pots placed here and here. Put a fern in one and a red mushroom in the other. Fill in a 5x2 area with dirt except for this back right corner where you'll put podzel and in this middle section where you'll put a spruce stair that's waterlogged. How all of the dirt? Surround all sides with 14 spruce trapdoors. Place a pumpkin in the front left corner with a sea pickle on top for a stem. Now take two rose bushes and put them here and here. Get four wheat seeds, plant them in these spaces, and bow meal them. Now we're going to create a small tree to finish this garden bed. First, place down five birch fences. Come to the back and on top of that third fence, place another fence. Then come to the front and above that fence, place a birch gate. Get some birch leaves. On this side, start by stacking three birch leaves. Come to the front and place another three birch leaves like so, with one more leaf in this corner to cover that gate. Come around to this side. Place two birch leaves here, covering the gate again. Then place a leaf here and here, leaving a gap in the middle. At the back, place one birch leaf underneath that fence with two more on top. Finish the tree by placing a final leaf block at the very top. Now we're going to create a fancier garden bed. Fill in a 5x2 area stacked too tall with moss blocks. Punch out these two areas here and here and put in mossy cobblestone slabs instead. Then take 10 spruce stairs and put them along the bottom like this. Next, get 18 spruce trapdoors and fill in all of the sides. Waterlog both of the slabs and place a couple of pieces of tube coral on them. Put two large ferns in the back right corner. Place two rose bushes next to each of those tube corals. Take a blue orchid and put it in this front left corner with some warped roots right next to it. Then grab a couple of torch flowers and put them in the remaining two spaces of the garden bed. For our final design, fill in a 3x3 area with podzel. Then come out once more with three podzel blocks on all sides. Take four bamboo mosaic stairs and place them in each of these corners. Grab four more mosaic stairs and place them upside down, protruding from each of the sides. Take eight bamboo trap doors and cover all remaining sides of the pods with them. Now get four pieces of grass. Place them in these corners here. Take four large ferns and place them in these corners. Grab two azure bluets, put them between each of the grass. Get four blue orchids and place them in these sections. Grab two lilacs and put them between the orchids and two peonies placed between those large ferns. Then get two azalea bushes and put them in these middle spots with azalea leaves on each and flowering azalea leaves on top. Put down a bamboo shoot and bone meal it until it is four blocks tall. You can place some string on top to keep it from growing any further. Here are some of the designs used in a garden. Now we have some build hacks for sprucing up your ponds and fountains, starting with a water lily design. First, place down some warp trap doors as you see here. Then take some coral fans and place them on top of the trap doors. Here I'm using brain coral and horn coral. Next, put some lily pads around those, and you have your water lilies. To create some floating candle boats, we can place down a spruce trap door. Here we'll have another one. Then put some candles in your choice of color on top of the trap doors and light them up. Now we're going to create some cattails, a type of marshy water plant. You'll need lime green stained glass panes, like so. You can also use some green stained glass panes. Put brown candles on top of the panes. Just make sure none of the glass connects into each other. If you're liking these designs, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment below telling me which one is your favorite. If you want to get these garden designs or the gardens themselves, they and all my other builds are available on my Patreon. Anyways, thanks, and back to the video. We're going to make some garden decorations, starting with a wheelbarrow with some flowers on it. First, place down two spruce slabs. Then take two jungle trapdoors and place them on either side of a slab to make the wheels, 
and an open spruce gate to make the handles. Now place down two flower pots with a torch flower in one and a cherry sapling in the other. Next, we're going to make a simple beehive. Start with some scaffolding, place a bee nest on top, and finally, an oak pressure plate. For a scarecrow design, start with a spruce fence. Place a hopper on top of that. Put a hay bale on top of the hopper and a carved pumpkin on that. Take two banners and put them on either side of the scarecrow. You can see the pattern I created here. Now place two more spruce fences on the remaining sides of the hay bale, with two flower pots on top of them and a dandelion in each. To make a straw hat for our scarecrow, we'll use a bamboo slab and put four bamboo trap doors on each of the sides. Now we're going to create a fire pit. Start by punching out a 3x3 square in the ground. Now punch out another three blocks on all sides so that it looks like this. Break another 3x3 area in the ground and fill it in with some cobbled deep slate, coal ore, and a mixture of stone block variants. Go ahead and place slabs around this 3x3 area using stone variants like cobblestone, mossy cobble, andesite, and regular stone. Randomize it to give it a natural look. Finally, border this area with the same stone variant blocks. Now we're going to make the actual fire pit, placing a campfire in the middle with a mud brick wall on either side. Put a spruce fence on top of each of those. Then place a spruce pressure plate on each of the fences with a spruce trap door in between them. Now take a glowing item frame, put it on the trap door, and add some cooked salmon or another meat of your choice so it looks like it's roasting over the fire. Finally, we're going to create a Japanese stone lantern. Start by placing down four andesite walls. Take four chiseled stone blocks and place them one block up in between each of the walls. Get four polished andesite stairs and place them upside down in these corner sections. Put a polished andesite block in the very center with a campfire on top. Next, get eight more andesite walls and place two of them in each of the corners. Grab eight iron bars and fill in these spaces between the walls. Now we're going to create the roof of our stone lantern. First, take 12 polished andesite slabs and place three on each side, like so. Come up by one and fill in these corner sections with four more polished slabs. It should look like this so far. Take four polished andesite stairs and place one on top of each of these iron bars. Grab four stone pressure plates and put them in the corners on top of the andesite walls. Put a polished andesite block in the middle and an andesite wall at the very top. We can see the designs put to use in a new garden. Next up, we're going to create some outdoor furniture designs. To start, place down a piece of scaffolding. Then put two bamboo mosaic slabs on either side with a bamboo trap door on either side of those. Now place three bamboo fences stacked on top of the scaffolding. We're going to come to the bottom half of that top bamboo fence and place four cherry slabs in each corner like this. Grab four smooth quartz slabs and place them on the top half of that fence with a final cherry slab at the very top. Now get four cherry signs and place them on the sides of each of the quartz slabs like so. Then get four hanging roots and put them on the underside of these four cherry slabs. Now we're going to make a garden bench. Start by taking three polished andesite stairs and placing them like this, with two regular andesite stairs placed here. Place three smooth stone slabs down. We're going to go ahead and stack eight oak fences with four on each side. Grab five oak trap doors and place them in a line like this. Get two more oak fences and place one coming out of each of those top fences. Take some glow berries, place them on the underside of the trap doors, and have them hang down three blocks like so. Now place down two flower pots underneath each of those overhanging fences, with a fern in one and a flowering azalea bush in the other. Next up, we're going to make a grill. Begin by punching out two blocks in the floor and placing down two campfires, with two smokers on top. Put an upside down polished andesite stair on either side of the smokers, with a couple of spruce signs on the fronts of those. Now get two activator rails and place them on top of the smokers. Grab four barrels and place them facing upwards behind all of this. Go ahead and take another campfire, place it on this leftmost barrel, and douse it. Then put on some raw mutton, kelp, 
rock pork chop, and raw chicken. Now we're going to grab two looms. Place them on these two barrels, then put a smithing table on the final barrel. Now take 11 spruce trap doors and place them like so. Put a flower pot on top of the smithing table and put a torch flower in it. Last of all, put two sea pickles on the right and side stair to decorate. Next up is a porch swing. Place down two mud brick walls, then stack three spruce fences on top of each of them. Grab four spruce fence gates and have them sticking out of the top fences like so. Now replace one of the fence gates with the temporary block and put three spruce hanging signs off of that block. Delete the temporary block and put the fence gate back. Grab two chains and put one underneath each of these signs here. Put two upside down spruce stairs underneath the chains. Place three campfires here and douse all of them with a shovel. Go behind and put down a spruce trap door. Place a couple of spruce signs on either side of the campfires. Coming up top, we're going to place down 14 more campfires, all doused. Go ahead and decorate using azalea leaves, flowering azalea leaves, moss, and grass. For a final touch, add some glow berries hanging down. For our last design, we're going to have a trellis seating area. Place down four mud brick walls with a five block gap in between them. Get 12 spruce fences and put three fences on top of each of the walls. Now we're going to fill in this entire top space with 49 campfires. Douse all of them with a shovel. To add a bit of greenery, punch out a few of the campfires and replace them with azalea leaves, flowering azalea leaves, moss blocks, and grass. Now hang two lanterns in the middle on the front and back. Go ahead and take some glow berries and continue adding more greenery. Next, we're going to create some lawn chairs by placing down an oak stair, oak slab, and then two oak signs on either side of the stair. Repeat that design over here. Add a table in the middle using a piece of scaffolding, a flower pot, and a blue orchid. For our final category, we're going to make some simple tree designs. Start by placing down a 2x2 two two section of moss blocks. Take eight upside down polished andesite stairs and place them on all sides of the moss blocks. Next, get eight jungle trap doors and put them on top of those granite stairs. Get four granite walls and put them in each of the corners. Then place three pink candles on top of each wall. Light them all up. For the tree itself, get four dark oak fences, placed like this, with a dark oak fence gate coming off the side. Now grab some cherry leaves. Place one on the side and another above the gate, with one at the very top. Now come here and cover up this side of the gate and fence with one more protruding from that side. Come around to the back and create a triangle with the leaves here, then place a final cherry leaf block right there. To decorate, put a cherry sapling down on this moss block. Place some pink petals on the remaining moss blocks. Now for our next tree design, we're going to place down a cross of terracotta, like so. Get four upside down polished granite stairs and fill in these corner sections. Grab four more polished granite stairs and place them like this. Then finally, get another four stairs to fill in the upper corners. Put a piece of podzel in the center. Stack four spruce fences on top of the podzel. Get some mangrove leaves and place three on each side of the fence. Now take five moss blocks. Place one in each of these corners and then one on top. Grab a bunch of vines and fill in the sides of all of the moss blocks with them. You can either use a whole bunch of string to keep the vines from spreading, or I'd personally recommend going to your game rules and turning off vine spread. Now get four jungle saplings and place them on these bottom moss blocks with four pieces of string above them to keep them from growing. Put a fern at the very top to finish the tree. Next, we're going to make that same exact pot design from earlier with the cross of terracotta and the 12 polished granite stairs placed like so. Put Podzel in the middle, and this time stack seven spruce fences on top of each other. Come down to the bottom, leave a two space gap, and then go all the way up to the top with five mangrove leaves. Repeat this on all sides. Now take four more mangrove leaves and put one protruding out of each of the sides. Grab four blocks of moss and stack one on top of each of these leaves with four more moss blocks in each of these corners. 
Punch out these top four leaves here and replace them with moss blocks. Put another mangrove leaf on top of the fence with a final moss block on top of that. Now go ahead and put vines on the sides of all the moss blocks again. Take 12 jungle saplings and put them on all of the moss except for the one at the very top. Place string above each of the saplings. You don't have to put any string above these four because the vine should keep them from growing. To finish it all off, just place down a fern on the remaining moss. Here's an example of the designs in this garden. Thanks so much for watching! You can find all of my builds, including these designs, on my Patreon.